KTN News, Nairobi. Well, and but now we shift focus and the rising Lake Victoria water levels have affected over 80% of the 294 land sites on the Lake Victoria shoreline, causing panic among Kenyan fishermen. This comes at a time when the National Beach Management Unit leadership is decrying lack of involvement by various agencies in their effort to fight the adverse effects of climate change in Lake Victoria. And as Bramwell Weary now reports, a number of beach houses housing various beach management units that manage activities in the lake have shifted after their offices were affected. They went through water to either get to their houses or to their business centers. This has been the situation for several weeks in most parts of the Lake Victoria shoreline. Those living here have been left homeless, their property destroyed, and yet again, their lives Turned upside down. This follows the heavy torrents that have been pounding the region, leading to the rise of Lake Victoria water levels. There is the situation for the fishermen whose landing sites have completely been swept away. A lot of our landing sites were the, the, the infrastructure was built about 100 yards from the shoreline. Most of them are now swept and inside water. If you take an example of the islands, let's take Mfangano Island for instance with 20 BMUs. Only four BMUs now you can say are secure. The rest of them, some are either in the waters or others are almost in the waters. Scientific experts attribute the rising levels to climate change, but environmental activists blame encroachers who they accuse of failing to protect the wetlands. With much focus shifting on mitigating climate change, the beach management unit's leadership is calling on the relevant organ bestowed with the responsibility of mitigating effects of climate change on Lake Victoria to involve them directly in finding lasting solution rather than embracing boardroom mechanisms. And I would urge agencies of government, first of all, establish this, go through the beaches. We have about in Kenya now 294 in Lake Victoria landing sites. Do a survey, find out, verify that do we still have the shoreline? If there is any support, we can advise, we can say where we need it most. Like now, a lot of this money, if you asked me, I would say, number one, let us look at our shoreline. Let us look at our infrastructure. What has happened? Earlier this year, the government through the Ministry of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs, announced securing 1.45 billion shillings from International Fund and Agricultural Development IFAD to construct fish landing sites in Busia, Kisumo, Siaya, Migori and Homabe counties in what was seen as a plan to revive the fishery sector. From Bire, Kete News, Kisumo. Now looking at the regional news, the East Africa Legislative Assembly Committee on Legal 